just about every investing buzzword you can think of artificial intelligence internet of things software as a service robotics and dozen more is built on the back of microchips so it's no surprise that semiconductor volume is increasing however relatively very few new semiconductor startups are joining the race so think of it as a pyramid at the bottom is the very application that relies on computational power your phone your car every piece of software you use every app or website you interact with and so on in the middle are the companies that are design chips above them are the companies that do the manufacturing owning the expensive fabrication machines necessary to actually produce chips in volume and at the top are the companies that manufacture the fabrication machines in this video i am going to talk about one company that is sitting at the top of the pyramid and is overwhelming market leader in its space the company i am talking about is asml many people may have not heard of this company but you may have heard of apple's latest a13 chip used in iphone well a13 chip uses 7 nanometer design and asml is the only company that manufacture machines used to fabricate 7 nanometer design chips now some of you must be wondering what is this 7 nanometer node or 7 nanometer design chips well chips and cpus are made up of billions of transistors and switch gates and size of one transistor or switch gate is represented by this number which is 7 nanometer or 10 nanometer or 5 nanometer so if i take an example intel's current cpus are based on 10 nanometer design and apple's a13 chip is based on 7 nanometer design and currently in the market asml is the only company which provides machines that are capable of manufacturing chips of 7 nanometer or under design so in one sentence asml is the largest supplier of photolithographic machines for the semiconductor industry in the world if we read what asml have to say about them we can see it's one of the world's leading manufacturers of chip making equipment they do not manufacture the chips but instead they design and manufacture the lithography machines that are used in chip manufacturing and their customers are companies like intel who use their machines to create microchips that are eventually used in electronic devices including smartphones laptops and much more semiconductor chip industry is divided into two major segments logic chips and memory chips logic chips are the ones used to do the processing like apple's a13 qualcomm snapdragon intel core i5 processor etc and the memory chips are the ones which are used to store the data well asml provides fabrication machines to fabricate both type of chips asml competitors in lithographic machines are nikon and canon but nikon and canon are overshadowed by asml superior technology major chip fabricators like samsung tsmc buys lithography machines from nikon and canon not because they are better or cheaper than asml just so that they do not become beholden to a single supplier that is asml it is also reflected well in their market share which is more than 60% by unit volume but as they sell more expensive systems their revenue share is even more than 85% Please note the numbers we are talking about here are for deep ultraviolet lithography technology which is used to make older chips but what makes ASML even more interesting is its launch of production ready extreme ultraviolet lithography machines which are used to manufacture 7 or 5 nanometer node chips and guess what ASML is the only company that manufactures EUVs So there is no other company which has developed this technology it's only ASML and to fit higher processing power in smaller devices EUV technology is a prerequisite and is crucial for the future of the semiconductor industry with increase in demand of 5G and AI demand for EUV is likely to increase which one can see in the recent boost in orders for these machines In the third quarter of 2019, ASML disclosed that it received an order of 23 EUV system. Samsung ordered 20 EUV equipment for 3.38 billion dollars from ASML, and similarly, TSMC has ordered several EUVs to upgrade its fab infrastructure. Globally, chip volumes are expected to rise roughly 10% annually over next five years, 
which means that mere business as usual should keep ASML sales growing at a decent rate. Moreover, demand for automotive chips is estimated to increase more than 20% annually. And contribution of electronics in total cars price is estimated to be 50% by 2030. So the price that you are paying for the whole car, 50% you will be paying for the electronics used in that car. And do not forget the race for AI chips. Global AI chip market is increasing well above 30% annually. Not only these, all future technological investment segments need faster, reliable and smaller chips and no matter who designs and manufactures these chips, they will need ASML's lithographic solutions. ASML would not be able to achieve this milestone without a great leadership and vision. Beside other board members and CEO Peter Wenick, I would like to highlight its chief technical officer Martin Brink. Martin Brink joined the company when it was founded in early 1984. He has served several engineering positions at ASML and has made his way up to the current position. He knows the technology by heart and how things work at the ground level. His passion for this field is reflected by the awards he has won over the time for his contribution to lithographic imaging solutions, nanotechnology, microelectronics industry and contribution to the realization of ever more powerful microchips. This leadership took a very calculated risk in pursuing EUV despite the huge investments required and especially when it was not certain that the technology or the demand would pay off. They continued innovating and pushed the Moore's law forward which is the observation that the number of transistors in a dense integrated circuit doubles about every two years. Well, ASML is not stopping here. With its successful launch of EUV NXC 3400C, it has already started working on developing a new technology called HiNA. It's the next generation system to support 2 nanometer chips. If we look at the interim 2020 financial report of ASML, we can see a 20% increase in its net sales. This sale is driven by higher average selling price of its latest EUV NXC 3400C and at the same time higher volumes of DUV. Their percentage gross profit also increased to 43.3% thanks to high price tag of EUVs. To put it in perspective, Apple's gross profit is at around 38% and in next half ASML's gross profit is estimated to reach approximately 50%. So from the gross profit margin point of view, ASML is doing even better than Apple. For those who do not know what gross profit margin or percentage means, gross profit is the money left over from product sales after subtracting the cost of goods sold. In this, we include only the cost that is incurred by us for making or producing the goods we sold. We do not deduct marketing or selling or general and administrative costs from it. Well, coming back, ASML shipped six EUVs without FAT, that is factory acceptance test, due to COVID situation in the first half of 2020. Therefore, recognition of revenue for these EUV systems is delayed until acceptance after successful installation. So as per their report, two of them are recognized in the first half of 2020 and four will be recognized in the second half of 2020 which means the result of first half could have been even better if those four would have been accounted. But it only means that next quarter results look even more promising. ASML is also paying nominal dividend consistently for more than a decade now and has also launched a plan on January 2020 to buy back its share of up to $6 billion in next three years. Again, a good sign of financially healthy company but the shares buyback program can be postponed or cancelled if situation changes like currently due to COVID-19 pandemic. Company has already implemented a cash preservation plan to secure its future in case COVID situation extends further and has paused its share buyback program for first and second quarter of 2020. So, so far it has bought around 507.5 million euro worth of shares and will continue buying more in the next coming years. Well, why I think ASML is a buy now is because of its success to make EUV a commercial reality. I think semiconductor market will move towards seven nanometer and under processes as yields improve and it becomes more cost effective. AMD has launched its seven nanometer chips recently. 
In May, Nvidia revealed its new 7 nanometer architecture. Intel has also planned to introduce 7 nanometer chips in 2021, but it got delayed to 2022. From logic chip, future for 7 nanometer nodes looks good. Not only logic chips, but memory chips fabricators are also planning to move to 7 nanometer nodes. Samsung has already launched 7 nanometer SSD and DRAM. And as ASML is the only company that provides solution to fabricate 7 nanometer chips, we can see all the profit going to ASML. Also, the cost of single EUV is 120 million, which is far more than its older DUV systems. Hence, considering the higher price tag and its monopoly situation, I think its cross margin can rise higher than 50%. Well, every investment comes with risk and this one too. ASML management have categorized the risk in six categories. I would recommend you to read all of them. However, in this video, I would like to highlight two risks. One is the limited number of suppliers, which ASML tries to compensate with its strategic acquisitions and buying stakes in suppliers like Carl Z's. However, the risk remains, especially during this pandemic situation. So in case any other supplier fails to deliver, will result in delay of the whole lithographic system and will reflect badly in the balance sheets. Second risk worth talking about is high percentage of sales from few customers. In semiconductor fab industry, there are not so many players due to high investment, which means losing even single customer due to any reason will have a great impact on ASML's revenues. And during this time of uncertainties, one should keep these things in mind before investing. Another risk that I see is if semiconductor companies do not decide to move over to EUV technology. For many chip fabricators, cheap chips are more important than smaller and powerful chips. Intel postponing its 7 nanometer chips is one of the example. Another example is Global Foundries, which decided in 2018 not to move to 7 nanometer manufacturing and instead focus on refining older processes. And the reason for both companies to not pursue the 7 nanometer manufacturing is the economic viability of this process. However, I think with continuous innovations and next in line EUV NXE 3600D, economic viability of EUVs will improve and other foundries will join the 7 nanometer race sooner than later. So, to conclude, I think ASML is a great company to invest in. And as I always say, invest with a long-term mindset and do not concern yourself with short-term ups and downs.